nursery. I'm here with Pip and Pop and their stars. We've been learning all about stars and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But we really want to know how to catch a star, a real one, just like the one here. Well, how do you think we could catch a star nursery? What could we use? What could we do? I'm going to read you a story that might give you some ideas. And the story is called How to Catch a Star. And it's by Oliver Jeffers. How to Catch a Star. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and he wished he had one of his very own. There he is. He dreamed how his, this star might be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try and catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see the star anywhere. He sat down and he waited for one to appear. Do you think he'll see any stars in the daytime? I don't know. He waited and he waited and he ate lunch. Look, he's eating a nice sandwich. And waited and after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. Can you see the star? The boy tried to jump and grab the star, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with a life belt from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. He can't even pull it. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up in the sky and reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. Look, that seagull's not interested. I think he's more interested in the fish in the sea. The boy thought he would never catch a star. But just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star, it must have fallen from the sky. There it is floating in the sea. I wonder what he'll do. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. 
Do you think the star will wash up on the shore? Do you think the little boy will be able to get it? Then he waited and walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. Oh look, how is that little boy feeling? Now that he's found a star. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. Oh, what is he doing with his star at the end of the book? What's he up to? That little boy tried lots of different ways to catch a star. How do you think you could catch a star? Can you draw a picture of how you're going to catch your very own star? And bring it along to show us later on. I'm going to use a hoover to catch my star and I'm going to use the hoover to suck the star out of the sky and down to earth. How will you catch your star? We look forward to seeing all your good ideas of how to catch your very own star later on and we will see you all soon. Bye!